What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you how to install Reshade for Palworld. There's tons of different presets that mess around with how the game looks. For example, Decent Plus here, which I'll be installing, includes not only modifications to the engine settings, but of course, a Reshade preset to add depth of field and things like that. There are thousands of these presets, and of course, you can create your own, adjust how the game looks, etc. Reshade is a really popular plugin, or tool rather, to change the way that your game is rendered and displayed. Just note that it's not compatible with all multiplayer games. As long as there's no anti-cheat, it should be fine to use. For now, at least, it's safe to use in PAL world. Though, just keep in mind, if an anti-cheat is ever added, make sure that the developers actually approve the use of Reshade before you try and use it in-game. Anyways, in order to download and install Reshade, you don't need a preset pack or anything like that. These are completely optional. All you need to do really is head across to reshade.me and click download. Then select either 6.0.1 or with full add-on support. They're pretty much the same thing. Download either one, click OK, which is a reminder for anti-cheats in multiplayer games, save it and open it when it's done downloading. Simply click OK once more. And now all we need to do is locate in this recently opened apps list, Palworld. We can search Palworld down here and you'll find both of these here. Otherwise, you can choose browse, then navigate to where the game is installed. So for me, it's C, Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Palworld. There we go. And palworld.exe. Click open and next, followed by DirectX 10, 11 or 12 for this game in particular. Choose next. Then you can select what effects you'd like to install and use. Anything that's unchecked will be unavailable in the game. If you're not too sure what you're doing here, you can load in a preset and get it to tick different things. But for the most part, if you're making your own, tick whichever ones you might think you want to use. If you're trying to use a preset, simply click browse at the very bottom here and navigate to where the INI file you downloaded is. That's the config for reshade for whatever preset pack you download. This one over here downloads as a zip. I can open it and I find the preset INI file here. Usually I want to drag this across to the game's installation directory. So in Steam, I'll right click Palworld, manage and browse local files. Then in here is where we'll be dropping it. So just like that, navigate to this location. In the reshade pop-up window, select the file and choose open. And when you do so, only the required effects will be ticked, nothing more, nothing less. If you'd like to adjust it further, you can tick different options so you can play around with them in game too. Sweet, I'll tick a few more like curves, film grain, maybe depth of field, etc, etc. Anyways, when we're done, simply choose next, wait for all of the components to be downloaded and installed, and then shortly after you can customize which add-ons you'd like to use if you downloaded the add-on version. There's a bunch of them here, but for the most part, you'll be ignoring the section completely. So next and finish. There we go. If the preset pack that you downloaded requests you replace the engine INI file, for example, there'll usually be information on where to get there. Usually it's percentage, local app data, slash pal, saved, config, and windows. You can copy this, hold start, which is the flag key, and press R, then inside of here, paste it in and hit enter. This will open the folder that will want you to drop files into, usually. In my case, I'll be dropping this engine INI file. So I'll drag it out of my zip into this folder here, replace, and as requested, right click properties and set this to read only. This way, the engine can't change any of these settings and they're stuck to this customized state. You can come back here and edit this later with any text editor. The same goes for any INI file. They're just text files that you can open with Notepad. Anyways, at this point, we can fire up the game and everything should be modded. In order to uninstall Reshade, all you need to do is navigate across to the game's folder. Then inside of here, you'll usually find a few more files. Let me quickly run it to generate them. There we go. You can see Reshade's installed at the very top and we can press home to start the tutorial telling us about how it works. In our games install folder, if we head into PAL, binaries, Win64, you'll find the Reshade shaders folder as well as Reshade INI, log, preset, and dxgi.dll. If you'd like to uninstall Reshade, these are the things that you'll be deleting. If you'd like, you can navigate back a folder, simply delete this Win64 folder here, and verify your integrity of game files on Steam to re-download everything, everything that was missing in here. It's only roughly 200 megs worth of files. 
Anyways, that's it. For now, we can fire up the game, so play. And just keep in mind that when you're using Reshade, or anything that does post-processing, you'll be using more processing power, of course, which means you'll get lower frames, etc. So I'll hop into a world. Once you load into the game, you'll notice a pop-up at the very top of your screen, telling you to press home to start the tutorial. As so you press home, it'll pop up the Reshade screen, and we can continue to, to click through and learn about how Reshade works. Essentially, you can customize all of the settings and reload at the very bottom over here. You can see it flash to what it looks like before and after whenever I click this button. It's definitely more easy to see what's going on with this preset pack, but of course we can customize it as we see fit. So if we tick or untick something, we can see the effect it has on what we're doing in game. And of course, if we expand the bottom section, we can customize each of the individual options as it gets really, really in depth. For the most part, this is probably as deep as you'll go. You'll do some very light customization on top of installing a preset pack and that's really it. Though of course you can get very in depth with how you want the game to look, feel, play, etc. In order to save your changes to the preset, use the save button up here. To load a new one, click this drop down here and you can choose different files in the same folder as the game's exe, otherwise you can navigate around your PC using the path at the very top. That's it. So hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.